Welcome back to another race of GTK series. It is almost time for the race and we are still eating cookies here, but I think we can chat a bit with Ari. Ari, I can see that you finished Vovas and Alicia's cars. So, and we have plenty of cookies here. So come, uh, come, let's chat a little bit if you don't mind. I would like to ask a few questions for the, audio, for the audience to get to know you a little bit more. So tell us, Ari, how was your daily life back in Castelletto? It was so much fun for me touching those luxury and powerful supercars every day, tuning them up and fixing them. I was living the dream of every mechanic, Cabela. Oh, I can imagine, I can imagine, yeah. And what what was the work that you did for Tiveta? Maybe, maybe you know someone from there, or one of their customers, who would be interested in sending their models for a quick and small exposition. The customers were so excited about upgrading their engines, and they truly enjoyed doing everything I could to help them, taking on great experiences. I remember working with the son of the founder of Chivetta, who managed the shop. What fantastic guy. I hope he understood my decision to leave Chivetta. Maybe if I give him a call, we could arrange to bring some beasts to the next event for an exposition. Oh, Ari, Ari. I hope you managed to reach some of them after you finished with their cars. So... We, you know that we need to increase a little bit of the attendance for our events and I'm glad if you actually managed to do something. So, thank you so much. Let's, that's enough with the chatting and let's start with the introductions. With, uh, let's start with the introductions. In the first position we have Nina Hill with a uh, risk between 79 and 89%. And because she's starting in the first position, she will receive no bonus for this race. Her vision is between 76.1 and 86.1%. And a little bit of her position, she's in the fifth, 15th position with 9 points. And she's tied with Arthur, who is starting at the 4th position today. Our next driver is the Irish Kian Falun. Kian has a risk between 78 and 81% for this race. He will receive a 1% in each checkpoint. His vision is between 77 and 80 percent. He is currently in the fifth position with 24 points, tied with Teruya, but Teruya has already raced today, so if Kian finishes the race, he will be able to pass Teruya. Now we have Juliana Fraga in the third position, with the risk between 62 and 73 percent. She will receive a bonus of 2 percent in each checkpoint. Her vision is between 71.7 and 82.7%. Juliana is currently in the 17th position with 8 points. She's tied with Reynald, who has already raced today, and Donna. She, Donna is, is starting in the 6th position. Next, in the 4th position, we have uh, the Australian Arthur Walker, Arthur Walker with the risk between 65 and 75 percent. His bonus is of 3 percent for each checkpoint. His vision is between 73.2 and 83.2 percent and he's currently in the 15th position in the championship tied with Nina Hill with 9 points. For the 5th position we have the Greek Zacharias Galanoglo. His risk is, be is between 70 and 83 percent, receiving a bonus of 6 percent. His vision for this race is between 69.8 and 82.8 percent. Zach's currently position in the, in the series is in the 20th with 4 points. He's tied with Jin Bai, who is starting this very same race in the 7th position with 4 points. For the 6th position we have uh, the Italian Donatella Vitello. She's gonna race today with the risk between 58 and 67%. Her bonus for the risk is going to be 9% during this race and her vision will be between 72.6% and 81.6%. Don is currently in the 17th position tied with uh, with the Brazilian Julian Reynaldo. Reynaldo has already finished his race, actually he didn't finish, um, and they are at, uh, with 8 points. And at the last position, the 7th, we have Chimbai Dargan from Mongolia. 
he is racing today with a risk between 53 and 66 percent his bonus is of 12 percent his vision is between 67.9 and 80.9 percent Jing Bai is at the almost at the last position and 20th uh, tied with Zach with four points Let's start the race now. 3, 2, 1, and here they go. Nini first, Keen second, Juliana in third. No, she stopped. What happened? Arthur managed to pass. Donatella was caught in that craziness and managed to pass Juliana as well. Managed to pass everyone who was in front of her. And Juliana is in fifth, I think. Six. Oh, look at Zakaria. Zakaria is not feeling well. What? is happening team by Dargan is also having issues with his car it seems that the hit that he made on Zacharias actually wasn't very good we need to check it again now that we have the replay I can see here that uh, Juliana was trying to pass Kian but Kian kind of protected and she just out of desperation hit the brake impacting and creating all of this accident Zacharias couldn't escape Juliana he went to the left but Chen Bai was so fast that he just hit uh, Zacharias so so strong that now Chen Bai is out of the race he cannot do anything anymore now that we are back we can see here that uh, Nina keeps her first position she's almost crossing the for finishing the first lap followed by Kian Falun, who is uh, two seconds behind, Arthur three seconds behind, one second behind Kian Falun, Donatella two seconds behind, Art Walker and Juliana Faraga a few seconds behind. And now I can see that we have a problem with Zacharias. Zacharias is not doing well. It seems that his car is not responding anymore, so I have a feeling that he's about to drop the race. The radio is actually chatting a lot and they are all trying to make Zacharias stop. He cannot go anymore. He cannot go. So we can see here that uh, Nina Hill is very, very fast. She's two seconds in front of Kian. I don't think she should be doing this, this crazy driving. It, it, it's just out of this world. She has already the first position. Oh, here we have the news that Zacharias Galanoglo just dropped the race. It took a little bit of a while, but yeah, it's almost the finishing of the second lap. And look at how far Nina is from Kian Falun. It is a lot. It's three seconds in front. Three seconds. And Art Worker is pushing Kian Falun a little bit with Juliana Fraga not in her best day but she's still going on yeah, and when this race just started i felt that uh, it would be a very important race we can see that uh, we could see at the beginning that the majority of the players they were all tied so we had donatella tied with juliana we had uh, zacharias and chimbai both have already dropped the race but they are going to still be tied so the next race for both of them is going to be very very important and also for Kian Falun who just needs to finish this and then he will be able to pass it with oh look at how open oh no what happened look at Kian he just went out of the of the of the of the of, of the turn Jesus Christ I don't even I can even speak and also I didn't mention but uh, we all we have the time between Arthur Walker and Nina Hill will also work out I cannot even speak Arthur Walker be able to come close to Nina Hill he is very far from her let's see how far he is five seconds behind Nina Hill will he be able to catch her up in this last lap Kian Falun made a huge mistake in that in that turn and he went out Arthur just took the opportunity in past Donatella is behind coming very smooth and Juliana, Juliana is as well coming smooth pa she's gonna stay behind because Donatella is gonna take a few points over Juliana and is gonna take the lead on the championship so now let's see the the finishing this oh Jesus Christ what Nina Hill Nina Hill just went out and Arthur's gonna pass what the hell is it? 
This is oh, Nina Hill just closed Arthur Walker. Kian Fallon managed to pass him and Nina Hill is out. Nina Hill is out. It was very fast. She is unconscious in her car at the moment. It's a very, very, very important. We need to take someone over there. It's getting dark very fast. Arthur Walker managed to get out and Juliana couldn't pass Arthur. So we're gonna see here the finishing line. The first one is gonna be Kian Fallon. He managed to assume the leadership. In second, we have Donatello, five seconds nearly behind. Then Arthur, nearly nine seconds. And Juliana, 12 seconds behind the first position. What a change! What did happen now in the last position, the la in the last lap? In the very last lap, Nina Hill just went out. It was her moment, and then she just to throw it away she threw it away and not to mention that uh, Nina almost took Arthur with her so was it some sort of attempt to prevent him from scoring and uh, taking the lead between the two of them well anyway let's not speculate and uh, we all hope that she's gonna be fine for the next race and uh, just to conclude today we see that Kian and Falun, because they are all racing the first group Kian and Falun is accruing 15 points, Donna, Donna finished in the second position, Jesus, she's amazing, she's taking 12 points, Arthur 9, Juliana 8, and all of the three who didn't finish, Nina, Zach, Zach and Chimai, they are not going to score any points now. Let's look now at the table, how is it after this race, Kian Falun jumped to the first position with 39 points, Donatella, she jumped from the 17th she was tied with Juliana and she jumped to the 11th place so she managed to take six positions then Arthur Walker he finished in the third he managed to gain three positions he was in the 15th Juliana Fraga took two positions Nina Hill she went down from the 15th to the 18th and Zacharias and Chin Bai both of them, they remained on the 20th position. We have now come to the conclusion of our third race. Unfortunately, with a huge accident with Nina Hill, we just hope that she's gonna be fine for the next race, which will be in the East Coast. So we are flying there, and while we fly and set up everything, Ari is gonna take the lead and contact the people from Civetta and some other people from the ETK brand and let's see if we can actually make some sort of a show, showroom showcase or some sort of event to show a few cars some extra cars more anyway thank you for watching bye